Hey, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? I am the Mystical Green Beanie, and I just read DC Rebirth, and holy shit. I mean, holy shit. That was a really damn good comic. Probably the best DC comic I've read in a while. And that's probably because it feels the most like a classic DC book, but that's neither here nor there. Because in this video, I'm going to be speculating on the future of the DC Universe. So at the end of the issue, we see that Batman finds the comedian's button in the Batcave. Just as Wally West, oh my god, Wally West, um, you know, just as Wally West explains that after the events of Flashpoint, Barry didn't alter the universe, because things technically went back to the way they were supposed to be, but then someone tampered with the timeline and stole a decade from the DC Universe, altering it to be the New 52, and in the end, we're treated to the conversation that Dr. Manhattan had with Adrian at the end of Watchmen, while we see a watch being repaired telekinetically on Mars. So here's what I think happened. At the end of Watchmen, Dr. Manhattan says that he's going to leave Earth and build a new, less complicated universe. What I think happened was he built the DC Universe, and he made it so that all those parody characters from the Watchmen universe are actually what he imagines his friends to be if they were more altruistic and less miserable. That's why Ted Kord is a happier version of Night Owl. That's why, relatively speaking, Lex Luthor is a caricature of Adrian Veidt. That's why The Question is a less homophobic, less racist, less, uh, well, you know, extreme version of Rorschach, and so on and so forth. That's why the DC Universe is a far less complicated version of the Watchmen Universe. But then, and again, this is just me shooting the shit, Dr. Manhattan became non-complacent with the universe he created, and he started to resent the hope and optimism that the universe he built stood for. That's why, when Barry altered reality in the Flashpoint event and he tried to change everything back, we got the New 52. Because when Barry was in the process of fixing the timeline, Dr. Manhattan took 10 years out of it. 10 crucial years that more or less altered everything making the DC Universe less hopeful, making it less like the DC Universe, making it more, uh, you know, cynical and slightly more like that of Dr. Manhattan's homeworld of the Watchmen Universe. And Pandora, the entity who was there at the beginning of the New 52, was prepared to tell everyone what Dr. Manhattan had done, but then he killed her to cover his tracks. I don't know, that's just what I think happened. Also, spoiler alert, I'm, I'm gonna be spoiling DC Rebirth in this video, because I'm, I'm spoiling. I, I really should have said that earlier. Um, I, I'm sorry, guys. I I just got excited, uh, you know. Anyways, what do you think about my theory? Do you like it? Do you think it's one of the stupidest things you've heard in the past 12 and a half hours? Do you think I should have warned you about spoilers beforehand? Let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button, share, support the channel, and if you want to see more content like this, all you gotta do is subscribe. I'm the Mystical Green Beanie, thanks for watching, and as always, until next time, adios nachos.